with how Capricorn is feeling in reference to Taurus. Talk to me about how Capricorn is feeling. Queen of Wands energy. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands energy. Talk to me about this Queen of Wands energy. So Capricorn feels like you guys are mirroring each other at this time. There's a lot of attraction. I feel like Capricorn is really into something that you have going on, Taurus. Um, they're viewing you in your power. You're very authoritative. You are taking control of a situation. Some of you guys are managers, entrepreneurs, somebody in a leadership role. Capricorn loves that, all right? Um, Capricorns are also individuals that are known to be good at managerial positions, uh, any type of entrepreneurship. So I bet that there's some quality about you that they see in themselves and that's what's attracting them to you, all right? Um, I feel like they can't get enough of you, Taurus is what I'm getting here and um, they're just staring. I just get this energy of someone who is fixated on something that you have going on they are constantly looking at it. They are wanting to learn from it. They want more information about it, okay? So um, viewing you in a position of power, you are leading somebody or you're leading a group of people. So that's how Capricorn is viewing you. You are kind of like this, this person that they seem to be admiring right now a lot of fire energy a lot of passion there tell me more about this king of wands queen of wands energy we have a powerhouse couple as well so it's like you and capricorn have potential you know um there's a lot of the same attributes that you both share here tell me more Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups energy. Yeah, you know, they want to come towards you or they want to work with you, Taurus. Um, they're very attracted to what you have going on. I don't know what it is for each Taurian. It's something different, but I feel like they want to be a part of it. They want to engage in what you're up to. They want to help you with it. I'm not sure if you're open to that. They're just showing up here as someone who will be approaching you little by little, okay? It's like the intensity keeps growing, all right? The intensity continues to grow. It's becoming more and more, and it's just something that they want in their life. That's just basically what I'm getting here. They want it. All right, um, this King of Wands is staring at this Queen of Wands energy. And that's what he wants. So a very intense reading on behalf of Capricorn there for Taurus. Now, talk to me about how Taurus is feeling about Capricorn. Talk to me about how Taurus is feeling. I mean, Taurus is open to it, but... Um, I don't see Taurus moving quickly towards Capricorn for some reason. Taurus will definitely take some time. All right, I feel that Taurus has been through a lot recently and Taurus is in this energy of wanting to decompress, okay? Which is why I feel like Taurus is not rushing at this time. Um, I feel that Taurus at some point also believed that, you know, there was a lot of potential here between Taurus and Capricorn. The problem is, is that there's some sort of issue on Taurus's side here. Taurus has an issue, okay, um, with something that has to do with Capricorn. What is this Eight of Swords here coming out on Taurus's side for Capricorn? All right, tell me more. Five of, yeah, so there have been some times where 
Capricorn might have made Taurus feel left out of a situation or Taurus didn't feel included. Um, and even though Capricorn is showing up here with all of this intensity, I feel that Taurus is questioning, you know, how they even feel like that. You know, I feel that Taurus is surprised that Capricorn is showing up here with all of this passion and all of this fire and um, kind of fixated on what Taurus has going on. So Taurus could be finding that hard to believe. Taurus is disappointed about something here with Capricorn. Why the Three of Swords? Could have been a third party. Could have been other people influencing the wrong way. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Taurus could feel like Capricorn was juggling at one point, which is why Taurus is not completely committed to an open contract right now with Capricorn. What's the outcome here, Spirit? What's the outcome for... Taurus and Capricorn. Hmm. It's like somebody doesn't want to give it another go around. I think that I feel that Taurus is kind of choosing to go in another direction. I feel that Capricorn still wants to have a connection to Taurus, but Taurus seems to want to do something else for the moment. Okay, Taurus just doesn't want to fight anymore is what I'm hearing. Or Taurus doesn't want to fight over this person is what I'm getting. So at this time, I see Taurus going in a direction that just is very financially focused. It's like Taurus is focused on the money. Um... And I feel that Taurus is very surprised that Capricorn has all this intensity for some reason, but uh, Capricorn definitely wants another chance is what I'm getting here. All right, so that's what I have for Taurus versus Capricorn. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.